Hey guys and thanks for joining me in this video. Today I'm going to create a quick and easy makeup look that I've been wearing a lot in some of my recent videos and a lot of you keep asking me to recreate this look. So here we go. Today I'm going to show you how I did this look. And one last thing before I start this video, I promise to rank all holiday makeup collections but there are a couple of more items that I'm still waiting and one is a Tom Ford eyeshadow quad which is again part of the holiday makeup collection it's absolutely gorgeous it's one of the most beautiful evening eyeshadow quads that I've seen I've tried it but I'm going to review this eyeshadow quad as soon as it's released and also we are waiting a new Chanel highlighter so these are the two items that I'm waiting for and then I'm going to rank all holiday makeup collections. So I didn't forget about this video, but I'm still waiting for these two new releases. And I would highly appreciate it if you consider subscribing to my channel and also turn the notification bell on so that you can receive a notification every time when I upload a new video because I don't have a regular schedule. Unfortunately, my job comes first because I still have to pay the bills. I really enjoy YouTube, but I cannot commit to a regular schedule to upload videos. So if you turn the notification bell on, you can receive a notification every time when I upload a new video. And please follow me on Instagram so that we can keep in touch on a daily basis. So let's go ahead and get started. So first I'm gonna start with my complexion and I've already moisturized my face. All of the products that I used are going to be in the description box. So I'm gonna start with my base now and I'm gonna use the Your Moist and Perfect Cushion and I'm gonna be using a clean sponge. If you're using cushion foundations, always use a clean sponge, absolutely clean, because it's very important, otherwise, you might transfer bacteria. This is why I generally don't enjoy cushion foundations a lot, but I really like this one because the coverage is very light and the skin looks like skin. The foundation is very pleasant. I think it's suitable for normal to combination skin. If you're dry, you might find this not very comfortable or you have to moisturize your face really nice. And I really enjoy the fact that it has an SPF of 50. I think it's finished actually, or not. Let's see if I can get one more use. I really need to get a new one. Okay, so I look very pale now, but that's the reality. So I'm using a Chanel concealer now as a base for my eyelids. And I'm going to quickly blend that with fingers. Okay, so I just curled my eyelashes a little bit because I feel quite uncomfortable because I have very, very straight eyelashes and now I'm going to apply a little bit of concealer. I'm using same concealer that I used on my eyelids. This is Chanel and it's number 10 and never use too much concealer under your eyes because unless you are on YouTube because if you if it's real life in two hours you're going to look terrible unless you're 16 years old. If you're 16 you can do whatever you want. You're going to look fabulous but but if you're not a teenager uh, go lightly with the concealer. Sometimes I see very young girls, like 20 something, and probably they are recreating YouTube looks and you know, they have so much makeup on that it's crazy. It looks, it looks terrible because obviously they did their makeup a few hours ago and it all starts to crease and less is more, believe me. Okay, done with the concealer. Now let me put on some powder. I'm going to be using my favorite Givenchy powder, Le Prisme Libre, and this is Mousseline Pastel. And I'm just lightly going to go very lightly under my eyes, very, very lightly. Okay, so I used a little bit of bronzer just around here, just to make it look a little bit better because I'm quite pale right now. And let's go ahead and do the eyes and then I'm going to do the blusher last. So I'm going to be using this color here, the darkest color. And since I'm in a hurry, I'm just gonna do my thing, which means applying this with fingertips. I know it's not professional, but if you're doing this for yourself at home, go ahead and do whatever works for you. For me, it just works very quickly. So I'm gonna put this quickly onto my mobile eyelid and then I'm going to be using a brush to to blend the edges because so I'm getting a brush now and with just a little bit of the same color 
and I'm just going to blend the edges and make the color more precise. Then I'm taking a different brush and I'm taking this color right here and I'm going to apply this color in the crease and I'm going to start blending this color, color with the dark brown. So the idea is to create a cloud of color. Then taking my favorite blending brush from Chanel, this is clean brush, I'm just going to blend everything. I'm going to blend a little bit more after that, but now I want to apply some color in the inner corners of my eyes. And I'm going to take the peach color right here, and I'm going to apply this color in the inner corners of my eyes and drag it a little bit. Because when I drag it, I'm going to blend it a little bit more and it's going to look more beautiful. Or at least I like the effect. Now I'm going to take this color and then this color, these two colors are going on my lower lash line. So first I'm going to take the pale shade and line my lower lash line and then the dark brown. So now that I have the color on my lower lash line, I'm going to use the same eyeliner brush the darkest color and I want to intensify the look a little bit just in the outer part of my eye. But you can skip this step if you're happy with the results. Then again I'm taking my blending brush and I'm going to take a little bit of this color just a little and blend everything. And I'm going in the crease. And then I'm going to apply mascara and finish off the look. And this is the finished look. I am really sorry that the lighting today is so bad. Uh, for lipstick I used the new Chanel lipstick. This is from the Holiday Makeup Collection and this is 807. And the way I apply it is I apply a clear lip balm and on top I apply the lipstick because it's a little bit dark for me and that's how I can customize the color. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to leave me a comment and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!